What's up guys, it's Sodity Diego, and I really haven't been making any content this week, <clears throat> because I got a new job. You can see my cowboy calendar. I've been working, I've been working out a lot. All the exes are, are working out. This is work, working out, a day off, work. I mean, uh, working out, working out, working out. Oh, wait, I hit the gym today, early, so. It's kind of hard, because it's like next to the wall, but. Yeah, I've been working out a lot, so I've been wanting to talk about some shit lately. Something I've been very passionate about lately. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I love collecting video games. I just, you know, when I was little, I would get maybe a few here and there. And my pops would always try to get me one once in a while. But now that I have a job, two jobs actually, I got two jobs, I'm making money, you know, I I'm taking care of payments. I have extra money to buy shit, so you know it's a little it's a little hobby of mine, and I don't spend a whole lot. So, anyways, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the games I've been buying and whatnot. So this honestly all started when COVID hit. <clears throat> when COVID hit, and you know I already had a good collection. I had a Switch. I had all the consoles pretty much. Like no bullshit. I literally have most of the consoles, like even Atari, bro. Like I'm not even fucking with you. I have like an old ass Atari. Well, that's my pops, you know. But you know, it's still, it's still in the, ha it's still in the house. It's still in the family. I got the PS4, the Xbox. I'm not trying to brag, you know. It's just, it's, it's where I like to spend my money. Some people like to uh, buy drugs. Some people buy other shit, you know. But me, I buy video games and vinyl. So it is what it is. And when Corona hit, I was like, what do I do? Because I stay at the gym every day. I was on grind mode, but then once COVID hit, I was like, fuck, like, you know, what am I, what am I, what am I supposed to do now? So I started playing all the games that I, I used to play, because for a while I stopped playing games, so I got really into collecting. And this started about when COVID hit, so there's more games that I have that I want to show off, but I don't want to make the video too long. But yeah, like, for example, you got the Mega Man joints, the collection, the, the, Zero slash ZX collection is two games pretty much. Uh, you see, like, you see, I saved the receipts, but you see, like, 14 bucks for two games, that's a steal. And technically, it's six games, as you can see, it's six games. To me, that's a steal, right? And then this joint right here, Shenmue 3, I think I got it for like five bucks at Walmart. It's still sealed. I got this over there last summer, so a little like a year ago. Yeah, look at this shit. Sealed. I got hella cheap. I think it was 10 bucks actually. It was like $10. But you can't have three without the one and two, you feel me? So. Oh shit, I don't have it. Oh, let me go get it. <laughs> yeah, once once I got the, the three. Wait, I think I do have it. Where is it at? Did I lose it? I think I lost the game. <clears throat> I didn't want to edit this video. Oh shit, here it is. Like, you see, I got the Shenmue. The Shenmue collection. The here you got the Shenmue collection one and two. I think I paid like twenty bucks for it. Still not that bad or fifteen, some shit like that. Hella cheap. Off of my homie Louie. Go check out his shop if you're from Vegas. I'm put it right here. Honestly, some of the best deals in the world. Tell him I sent you. Tell him Old Dirty Diego sent you. You'll know who it is. Yeah, he gives me good ass deals. He hooks up. He hooks up my homies when I take him. So he has. Honestly. When I get money to buy games, I go to the shop every time because he always has fire. Yeah, I haven't even played this one yet. I got it with another Zelda game off his shop, but like you see, I got like the collection basically. Uh, my girlfriend got me this at Walmart for five bucks for the VR. I've been wanting to play it on VR for uh, for a video. I'm gonna do a funny video. Where, like, I, I get a. I, I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, I, I'm planning to make a video with this. But five bucks, you can't beat that. Even though I haven't played it, even though I haven't played it. Another $5 game I got on Mercari, kind of shitty. The lady was dope though, she she sent me a, gave me a gift card for Dutch Bros, for Dutch Bros, because she took forever to send that joint, so she gave me a, a free gift card. Shout out to that lady, you know, she didn't have to do that, but she did. And I got, you see, I got the Marvel collection, Lego Marvel. I'm going to tell you right now, Lego, Lego games go hard as fuck. I don't care who you are, you could be the toughest dude in the planet. I'll still recommend it to you because these games go hard. I'm like, you got the first one, Avengers, and then the second one. The first one, I 100%ed it because when I got the PS4, I didn't have any games, so I got that game and I beat it 
Yeah, I got this joint for 15 bucks on Amazon. You can't beat three games for uh, five bucks each. You feel me? So that's that's probably why I'm like addicted to buying games because I see good values and I cop it. Even though I didn't, I haven't played this one a lot. Like, I, if I ever get bored, me and my little brother will play. You got. Shovel Knight? My dog just came. Hey, come here! You want to get on the camera? I got Shovel Knight for 15 bucks. Which I thought would be more, but. I thought I think this game's like not that rare, but it. I've never seen it before, so. Shovel Knight's like a Mega Man game. It even has a manual, bro. Like. You don't get that anymore. So that's a part of like the fun thing of collecting. Some games have shit like this. You feel me? Like. It's just dope. But yeah, good ass deal. 15 bucks. This one's a doozy. I'll tell you about this one right now. And this one. We got Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We got Lego Batman 3. This one was... Oh, and it, Wolfenstein. The first one. I got those three games. I traded one of my games. I forgot what game I traded. Fuck. Mm, Terraria on the PS4. I didn't like that game on the PS4. I was like, I'm going to just trade it. Some little kid hit me up on OfferUp. Little kid hit me up. He's like, "Hey, I'll trade you Terraria for this joint. This joint right here, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot." And I got Terraria for five bucks at the swap meet. I'm not gonna lie. And this game was selling for thirty bucks. I'll, I'll take that any day. You know what I mean? Like that's that's nothing. I basically paid five bucks for this. And then he told me he had this one and Wolfenstein, the first one. I was like, "How much for both of them?" He's like, "Take them both for five. Look, I know, like, maybe, like, I scanned him or some shit. Like, it's, it was fucked up. Like, I should have given him more. But, you know, when you're a little kid, you don't understand the value. You just want to get rid of it. So, you know, that's his asking price. I paid him the asking price. That's how I see it. Other people don't see it like that. They're like, oh, you scammed a little kid. I mean, not nah, because when I, when I was little, I sold all my Ninja Turtle collection for, like, 10 bucks. I regret it, but it taught me not to do shit like that no more, you know? But, yeah, it's a good-ass deal. Five bucks for those. And here I got Lax Quest. I, this came out on the DS. Me, me and my homie Christian, we're little kids, we used to play shit, so that's why I got it. So like memories and shit. Ten bucks, you know, not that bad. I never pay retail for games. I'll tell you that. I never pay, well, I never pay like $60 for games. Unless I absolutely know I'll like it. So like, Smash Bros, I bought it day one, because... Smash Bros. And it has all the characters. So that was a good value to me. So. This one I got last week actually. Fist of the North Star. Lost Paradise. Uh, if you guys know about Yakuza. It's basically Yakuza but with uh, this anime on it. Fist of the North Star. And it's dope as fuck. I want to play it really bad. But I, I just don't have. I have time but I just want to like. I don't know if I want to stream it or what. Or like make content but. It's dope, but I've never seen the anime, so hopefully this will get me into, it. you know, some dope shit. So let's see, what else we got? What else we got in the? This one I got the swap me. Now, this game goes for about goes 76 bucks complete, 76 dollars complete with the box and the game and everything. I paid like 30 bucks for it. It's way more than I, how, how much I would usually spend for a 3DS game. But, you know, it had the box. I hope it has the game. I, yeah, it has the game. It doesn't have the manual, though. Don't have the manual. It doesn't have the fucking manual. And that honestly pissed me off because it's not complete. The manual by itself goes for $17. I might have to do that. Uh, brand new sealed is $200. Loose, like just the game, is $50. So, I think I, I, think I got a good deal on it. And speaking of DS games, there's another DS game that I got at the swap meet. So yeah, the swap meet is like one of my favorite places to hang out at. But I also got this joint at swap meet. It's like 10 bucks Resident Evil. Which is, is Japanese, but I fuck with that. I, I try to learn Japanese, you know. I love Resident Evil. The box is kind of shitty though. It's a box within a box. See the little kanji, the Japanese letters. And then you got Pokemon Ranger. I think I paid, wait, I think I paid like 10 bucks for it, 15 bucks for it. 
but you'll never find this you know what i mean so i like i had to buy it I, i'm a huge resident evil fan and look this pokemon joint pokemon ranger souls of alma this isn't this isn't a pickup or anything but i'm asking my fans if you guys have the game hit me up i'll pay you through paypal i'll pay you through cash app i'll pay you i'll pay you somehow but i need the game if you guys have the game hit me up i'm trying to buy it i'm asking my fans because i know a lot of my fans like pokemon but yeah another big thing about like collecting that i've been into like the ps the ps4 games are super cheap right now but some like some games that are coming up in price that, that are going up are 3ds games because in my opinion it has some of the best games like on on the nintendo systems so last year i saw that this game store posted up these games right here the og luigi's mansion metroid samus returns is a game boy game remake without the link between worlds and i really wanted him right but i didn't want to spend the whole lot because look the total was like 75 bucks i think yeah, 75 bucks for all three of them. But what I did was I traded one of my Zelda games. It was like a collector's edition too. It was a collector's edition Zelda, and I traded it in, and I only had to pay 20, 25 bucks for these. I also traded in a uh, action figure, but yeah, uh, the Zelda was the biggest item. So yeah, I got these joints, and I'm really happy because I I only wanted this one, but I was able to buy all of them. See, they're all complete. The manual and everything. Look at the back. Luigi's Mansion, the OG one. The Zelda joint. But yeah. The only reason why I traded my Zelda copy for the N64 was because I have it on the 3DS. So as long as I have it and like in a format where it's like HD, I'm cool with that. You know, I I'd gladly trade in my old shit for like newer newer shit that will last more. So. And then speaking of Louis, I'm telling you, Liberty Hustle. Best shop in Vegas. I got this off of him, for ten bucks. That's a steal. You know Mario, it's a steal. I had a I had a ton of fun with it. I'd be in like a few days, but it was Mario. So, and then, oh look, you see, this is the one I got that I traded in. But I had the N64 version because I have it here. Like I have no use for the other one. So I got this off Mercari for around thirty bucks. Uh, I think it was worth it. Or twenty five. It, it was. 25. That was really worth it. Yeah. So I went to Louis this uh, last week, and he had Animal Crossing, uh, 3DS. What's it called? New Leaf, which I used to have, but I sold it because it was kind of boring. But now that I got older, I kind of appreciate Animal Crossing a little bit more. And I'll show you why I got it right now. If it wasn't for this, I would have never got it. And wait, I think I showed the wrong Luigi's Mansion. I don't know if I showed this one. I don't think so. But I got the sequel. And now I have both Luigi's Mansion games. I, yeah, I showed the original. But yeah, the only reason why I bought these was because it was 15 bucks each. And honestly, if you think about it, usually 3DS games are like 30 each. So this was a steal in my opinion. And I had to pick them up. I was like, I, I want to build my 3DS collection. I've been wanting to build up a uh, Nintendo collection, so I had to pick these up. You know, I have pure bangers. I don't have, like, shitty games in my collection. I have pure bangers. So, yeah. If you guys are trying to get rid of your 3DS games, hit me up. You know, I got money. Uh, I got you. I've been trying to, like I said, I've been trying to build up my collection for 3DS. So, yeah, this was last, that was, like, last week, literally. And then I got this on Mercari also. I paid, like, 30 but I didn't mind because all the Pokemon games are hella high in price. This was my little brother's, but he let me borrow it, so I could have like both on display. That's pretty dope. That's what's up. Shout out Pablo. So yeah, Pokemon games are going up in price, so I've been trying to buy as much as I can before like they shoot up again. So I got these sealed, mind you, haven't opened them at all. Sealed. Well, my girlfriend bought them for me. I paid for one of them, I think. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and it was at Walmart. I was like shocked. I was like, why is he still at Walmart? But I didn't know it came out in 2017. So it's, re it's relatively new. And yeah, so I got both of these, both of the remakes. And I'm honestly cool with that. I don't, I don't, I don't need to have all the Pokemon games, but here we got Pokemon, Pokin, fighting game. This game is hella fun. It's underrated to be honest. It's hella fun. 
is dope. It's like realistic, like the Pokemon look realistic. Yeah, I paid 45 bucks I think off of Louie. And I didn't mind because this, this day in particular, I felt like spending a lot more than I usually do. So, yeah. And then I got this one on Mercari for $35. Which is honestly a steal because, like I said, Pokemon games are pretty expensive nowadays. Yeah, we got the Eevee joint. I'm trying to get the Pikachu one, but for now. Because Eevee... Hey, Maya, come here. Because Eevee look like my dog. Watch. That's why I like Eevee so much. Come here. I'll show you real life Eevee. Ah, come on. Tell me that don't look like Eevee. <laughs> That's my little dog. My little dog, Maya. But look, they look exactly the same. Look, I want this for the thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> I love Eevee because of that. Like my little dog. And then last week as well, I got Donkey Chong. Donkey Chong Country, the frozen banana bitch. Featuring Funky Dick. <laughs> it's because GameStop had a sale and it was for 40 bucks. But I had a $15 coupon, so this came out to 25 bucks. That's a steal. For brand new sealed, that is a steal. So, and I think this was from last summer. The Hyrule Warriors, uh, the, the remake, they remade it or re-release uh, re the Switch because it was on Wii U. But okay, so this one's funny because I paid $60 for this one, and you know, like I said, that's rare for me. But the only reason why I pay this much is because I noticed that when the new one came out. I think I have the new one right here as a matter of fact. The new one came out. I don't have it right there. Oh, the new one came out, right? The Age of Calamity shit. And then they started going up in price because this used to be like 25 bucks. It was on clearance. People didn't want it. But since the new one came out, people wanted it. Like they couldn't wait. So they kept buying this. This shit was going for like $80, $100. And my ass was like, oh, you know, I was like freaking out. I was like, I gotta buy, I gotta buy. I was like, nah. Because like I hate missing out on deals. I hate one like I have the opportunity to buy it cheap and it goes up high. So I bought a brand new sealed. I found I they only had one at Walmart. Me and my brother took like a 40 minute drive. Shit was like far as fuck. Look, it's sealed still. I haven't even played it. Like it's dumb. I buy games, I don't even play them. So, like I haven't. It's because I got burned out with playing the second one. This one looks funner to me, so I wanted to play this one last. Cause like you got all the legacy characters. Yeah. And this was around a month ago, I think, or two months ago. It's got Pokemon vs. the World. You guys saw my unboxing. Yeah, like, it's a collector's, like, limited run. It also has a manual. I unboxed it, so check it out. Check out the unboxing if you guys want to watch it. Yeah, this one's dope, too. I paid, like, well, I think my girlfriend bought me this one. But it's still it's still in my collection, so. <laughs> and then the, the week that I got the 3DS games off of Louie, uh, Animal Crossing and Luigi's, we also had this one, Battle Crashers. I heard it's not the best, but I I told him let me get it for five bucks. He's like, all right, bet. So five bucks, you can't beat that. Even if it's ass, like you know, it look dope. Like the cover looks dope. So I love regular show Mordecai Rigby. I love Gumball Adventures of Gumball. I don't like Steven Universe. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's Steven Universe. I got the front, but it's all about these guys. Finn and Jake. You know, Cartoon Network goes hard. I was probably more of a Cartoon Network fan and Nickelodeon. But yeah, Nickelodeon in elementary, Cartoon Network in middle school. Because Ben 10, oh my god, ben, I love Ben 10. I'm about to get the, well, if I get rich and famous, I'm about to get an iced out Ben 10 watch. Watch, you'll see one day. And then I went to Cali. I went to LA uh, like a f two months ago or a month ago. And they had Paper Mario at the Toy District. Like the like Los Callejones and like LA, like downtown LA. I think this was 40 bucks and I was like, you know what, I've been wanting to buy that. 40 bucks is a good price. Yeah, and I've been playing a lot of this one. This one's funny. I wish I, I could have recorded it like on the stream. It's, it's cause it's in the Switch right now, so I've been playing it. Yeah. And then Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath. I love Oddworld. This one's like a, this one's dope as fuck too cause you're like a bounty hunter. Oddworld, I got it for 20 bucks. It was, I, I got it on sale. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I just wanted to show off a little bit of what I've been doing. I have more games that I could show, but it's just so much. Like, it's so much. Like, I, I'm telling you, I buy and I buy and I buy and I don't play. But it's because it, it's so cheap and I could, you know, 
like I have the money for it like I work two jobs so yeah for me this is what I do I don't buy like uh, I don't buy like drugs or coke or anything I don't do I don't buy this is like the only jewelry I have you know, like a little little uh, rope chain I, I don't buy like a lot of like fashion shit or clothes shit so this is my bread and butter this is what I waste my money on but yeah it's cool like you know I love it but yeah if you guys enjoyed it though let me know and I'll make more because I definitely have enough to make at least two more videos so yeah let me know if you guys like this little pickup video like uh, just an update of my game collection shit yeah I had fun recording this like I said yeah also if you guys are interested in selling switch games 3ds games ps4 games hit me up hit me up in the DMS I'll, I'll slide you my Instagram and we'll chat but yeah, I've been trying to buy a lot of games. I'm going to have a library full of games. Watch. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Hit up my homie Aiden Yoix on Twitch. He's one of my uh, one of my partners in uh, content creation. Go support him. Go send him my love if he's ever on a stream. Tell him all dirty he sent you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace.